talking, 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 talking that funky, funky, dip, dip, dip about my face. Wearing that monkey, 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 we put in Not that, not that, that might give you life advice. Get some money, money, get some money, 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 money get some money. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today we hit week 10, and we've got a good one in store between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Miami Dolphins. starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here and we're underway on EA Sports. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback and it will come out to the 25. Here's Burrow to throw right away. This goes out wide for Nixon. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Looking to throw again on second down. Burrow. Oh, into a sea of defenders have intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions, can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On play action, they'll throw. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is incomplete. Well, these are the situations that really tested defense. Those sudden changes. They're already inside field goal range to start the possession. Their goal now, keep it to a long kick if indeed they end up trying one. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. It's just, it's just, it's just the play action fake. They'll look to throw. And this one is incomplete. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. In motion, Hill. drop to throw that one caught by Tyreek Hill and he'll be taken down at about the 22 yard line that's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage and tell you what a few more plays like that he won't be number two for long well that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field these guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage totals numbers the whole deal and let's face it all of them they all want to be number one Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Good solid gain on first down. About what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. Coming up on second and seven. Off the 
play fake. He'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Oh, the ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Bengals will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now up a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Well, maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here, picking up the first to start drive number two. And it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because over the course of the game, the good players, things turned out pretty well for them, but that's what he's trying to do here. Play action. It's Burrow. Quick hitter here. It's complete. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Burrow. Very quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. Well, it doesn't take a whole lot of investigation to figure out why they're still sitting at zero on the scoreboard because their quarterback's got to wake up and start reading defense a heck of a lot better after throwing his second interception. They go play action here on first down. This is caught inside the 15. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. They'll get 34 yards there. Back to throw. He'll get this to Eckler. Touchdown, Dolphins. Austin Eckler. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here we go, here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pick up on first down. On 
on second and nine. Burrow. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's a give to Mixon. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Here we go. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Now it's Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 19. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. On second and ten, Burrow. That is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamar Chase from 19 yards away. And the Bengals are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Four and four, their record through eight games on the season. Would you say that this team has overperformed, underperformed, or are they kind of right? It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle with career touchdown number 60. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. 
Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 25 yard line he'll hand it off here this is Mixon and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 so from the 36 now first and 10 here's Burrow setting up to throw it forced out to his left and that's caught inside the 35 so the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They go play action with Burrow. Looking left side and it's complete. And they're gonna get this down to about the 17 yard line here. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find answers, and they've got to find them quick. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. To mix it on the check down. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Mixon running right. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to seven. Line of scrimmage. Again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Try for Mixon, and he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon with his ninth rushing touchdown on the year, and the Bengals are an extra point away from evening this one up. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Now it's the first involvement on the ground for the backup running back. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, 
It's second and 21. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 23. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. They'll look to throw again. And he comes back with one complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 13-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Try and run for it on first and goal. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Second and goal, they'll give it to him again. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. Sanders' kick is good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. It's a squiver picked up around the 27. 
So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They try to run on first down, but this defense says no dice. They stop him a couple yards behind the line of scrimmage. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And going deep for Hill. And he's got it inside the 10. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 61 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Bengals drive about to get going. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Channing Tindall is there for the tackle. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. From the 27, Burrow dumps it off to Mixon. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Eleven, 
Here's Burrow. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards, the final tally. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They will throw on first down with Burrow. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Second down and six now from the 42. Again, he'll drop to throw. He finds his running back, Mixon. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Again, it's Burrow. Being chased out left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Another try after the first down sack. Burrow. He's got a man complete. A big play there for Cincinnati. 46 yards. I'm pretty sure any quarterback will tell you it's nice to have a tight end that can stretch the field. And how about him right there, working in the heart of the defense, and they connect on a very nice play downfield. A combination of talent and toughness to go into the Briar Patch. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Here's a run with Mixon. So a little extra time to ponder this third and goal as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Keep in mind, very possibly four-down territory. Back to throw here. Steps away. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Burrow. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Bengals have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. I don't want to say that they're completely against the wall here, Charles, but all of a sudden, with the run that they've been on on the other sideline, this is down to a three-point game. they got to be careful. Not much space from their back to the wall, though. So you're exactly right. They've got to be careful here. But this is where the value of note-taking and recall comes into play. What was working earlier? Why was it working? Can you get those types of matchups again? And can you run those plays that get you a little bit more breathing room and a little bit of space? And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. 
The linebacker C.J. Mosley in on the stop. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. He'll buy some time right on the run. He'll let it go deep right sideline. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami, 45 yards. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And now here's a carry heading left. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is stay in bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now is the go time. I think that he will score. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. A run there on first down and a pretty good one at five yards, so make it second and five. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Burrow looking to pass. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Throwing again, it's Burrow. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. This will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Now they go play action now. Burrow. 
He's going to look deep down the field. And incomplete on the deep ball. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Now Bengals on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and ten. Back to throw again. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Trayvon Mullen. And the Dolphins are going to have it here at their own 15. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They're going deep for Hill. He rifles one that's intercepted. Daxton Hill puts it off. And the Bengals are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost go. like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. On the move to his left. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. One thing you'll have to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Now Burrow. Throw left side complete to Chase. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 26. Here's Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. This is intercepted, and that should do it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Defense was expecting run, and they're dealt a pass of over 15 yards. And now he's really knocking on the door for 700. That is career catch 699. That one looks like he'll throw here. Oh, Hill, great grab. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16, and another first down. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone, and that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill. 
touchdown number 136, tying it with Marshall Falk for seventh on the all-time list. And the Dolphins are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. And, my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Channing Tindall. And he will bring it back. It's a pick.